Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Mr. Simple Tuts, and in this video, I'm going to be um, doing a little review over the Life Proof, not sure how you pronounce it, Frey or Free? Um, I'm not sure. Anyways, uh, I've already taken the box out because obviously, as you can tell by how much the camera's moving, I'm having to hold it, and um, I'm actually recording this on like an older iPhone because <laughs> I don't have a camera, so. Um, there might be some points to the video where, like, I have to set the phone down, maybe. I'm not sure. Um, anyways, let's get straight to it. Uh, here's the Life Proof box, and when you go into the store, this is what it'll look like. And you can flip open the, this is like a little tab, and it just flips open. And right in here, it says seven reasons to choose Life Proof. And it has seven uh, little reasons. Uh, it's waterproof, fully sealed from Minute or minute, I'm not sure how you pronounce that because I don't think it's minute, dust particles. Designed to military standard and tested to withstand 6.6 .6 feet or 2 meter, drops and shocks, crystal clear anti-reflective optical glass lens for high quality images, sound enhancement system, microphone and speaker vents are waterproof, ultra flat screen protection in screen, uh, ensures full screen functionality. Um, and indeed, they definitely did fix the screens on these life proof cases. They used to be like flexy and they would like wave across your screen and it was kind of like hard to type on them. You have to like push down kind of hard. Some people get lucky and get flat ones. Some of them would get wavy ones and warped and whatever. Okay, so whenever you um, open the bottom of the life proof box and you slide this tray out, you're going to get the installation instructions. And uh, it says read before installation, it has information in it that you really probably don't care about too much. And then um, here's the actual life proof case. Down here you get the adapter. So like if let's say you're in your friend's car, um, you're going to need this for most 3.5 millimeter headset jack things that will plug into the bottom of your phone. Um, on the old iPhone 4 and 4S life proofs, it was on top because obviously that's where the headphone jack was and it's not the case on the iPhone 5. So you are going to want this adapter. It comes with an extra little screw cap. There's like a little, um, yeah, it's like a little screw that goes into the bottom of the case to keep the headphone jack waterproof. And then you unscrew it and uh, let me dis disconnect this. Nope, I'm having some troubles again. Alright, so here's the adapter and like this part right here um, plugs in and then screws into the bottom of the case and then this is where you plug in the um, headset jack, like the um, auxiliary cord or headphones, beats, whatever you have. And actually you can just undo that screw and standard Apple headphones like these, like I, have the, I just use the older ones, I don't use the ear pods. You guys haven't even taken them out of my iPhone 5 box yet. Uh, this thing is like right here. The base of it is thin enough for uh, to work with the case without the adapter. So that's pretty good. Um, most other headphones probably won't work. Um, so anyways, uh, let's go on to the case. Here's the top part. And it, it's split into two simple and easy to install uh, parts. And right here you just... Notice how the screw little thing down here that uh, keeps it waterproof, um, it sticks out a little bit. So if you're going to put your phone in, you want to like kind of, here I'm going to wipe off the screen. You like set the bottom part of your phone in and kind of just slide it down so that uh, that will go into the headphone jack of your phone, the screw will. And then just like push up apply little pressure to the top of your phone and it'll go slide right in and um, that's pretty simple and oh yeah there's a microfiber cloth and like some little orange um, support thing in there about warranty and stuff like that anyways here's the phone in the case and you just take the back um, and I prefer to snap from the top like down towards the bottom so just push and you'll hear little snapping sounds and go all the way around the case
And down at the bottom of the case, uh, be sure to squeeze like extra hard just because um, it's kind of more difficult to snap on. And then click the little USB port thing down and make sure that it is completely sealed and none of this stuff is sticking out. Okay, so obviously you guys can see that um, full screen functionality, it's really easy to type on. It's a really good case, um, it doesn't add much bulk. Obviously going to be much less bulk with the life proof than you will get with like an OtterBox Defender. Um, over here you get the plus and minus volume buttons fully working and then actually this is like I'm pretty sure this is the only case that has a full cover for the silent and or the yeah the vibrate and ring switch and it's actually opposite sorry guys my camera was cutting out and um, yeah so let's keep on going with the review um, on the side it's like opposite on the little ringer thing like you push down a little bit and then it's just opposite um, anyways so yeah now obviously everyone's gonna want to see this thing put in water so let's go take it into the bathroom and put it in the sink okay I'll go ahead and make the screen on and then we'll run it under water obviously the screen does not like work it's not touch sensitive whenever it's underwater you gotta kind of like wipe the screen off but... okay so it says that it can uh, like be in six feet of water but honestly I don't want to fill up my whole sink with water and just totally dunk it so anyways Yep, it's working just fine. And here's a towel. I'm going to wipe it off with the towel. It is a very good case, and I would highly suggest getting one of these if you have a new phone. Um, it's a great case. Uh, they do retail. They're pretty high, though. They're pretty expensive. They retail around $80 new. And they're like seventy dollars for an iPhone four or 4S. Um, and I don't think they make them for the three G and three G S at all. Um, so, anyways, yep, that's my review of the iPhone five life proof case. If you like this video, please hit the like button, give it a comment, and go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more reviews. Hopefully, gonna be releasing a lot more reviews for the iPhone five um, accessories, cases, all that stuff. So that's all guys. Thank you very much for watching.